everyone, I'm back. Um, this is my new flower. Um, I haven't seen them done before. Um, Jim, have you? You said no. Chris, have you seen one? So now, what we're going to call this is the shabby photo flower. I like that. The shabby photo flower. Uh, and that's what it is. It's a uh, from, I think it's an industrial chic part. It did have, oh excuse me, I've had that toast and now I've got belching. Sorry everybody, but it's uh, one of the shabby chic, uh, no it's, it's one of the industrial chic um, elements. I took out the acetate because it had like glittery bits in it, emptied that out, put a picture in, a vintage picture, um, and then put the acetate back in, added the bling, uh, and I've now added that as a uh, centre to a flower, which is um, very pale pink cotton, and it's all frayed on the end, beautiful doily, and a pale pink cotton in the centre as well. Uh, so now that's what it is. It's called the Shabby Photo Flower. Chris, you've got no sound. Why? You've got no sound. You turned your sound off. Is my sound on now? Yes, it is now. Oh, it was on? Yeah, it was. So say hello. I thought you were ignoring us. Hello, everyone. There you go. So I hope you like that. Try it. You could put a picture of your children in, your grandchildren in, whatever you want. Don't they look cute? Bottle cap. Put a bottle cap in and the picture in that. Yeah? Yeah. Gives it yeah. a nice edge, doesn't it? And there you go. That's what you get. So, and I've just put a little padding on the back there. But that does look nice. You could put some things trailing down and, and bits and pieces, but just wanted to show you that one. So we've now got the shabby picture flower. Jim, I want your shirt. You can have my shirt. Oh, he's such in he's got a shirt on and you know tie-dye, it's like that, and I love it. You wore it before and I said I like that one. I wear it all the time. Well, I can't have it if you wear it all the time, can I? I'll give you it. I've got two. to ask a question i'm looking for somebody who is a regular on my channel that lives near or in downtown la so if you do and you're a regular to the channel please contact me just drop me a line because i'm looking to um i'm just looking for somebody who's from downtown downtown la and uh, i'll let you know what for when i get a chance to speak to you so there you go hi what are you all doing So I'm relaxing. Oh, that sounds hot. I'm hungry. I keep yawning. It's like half past eleven at night. I'm going to a car boot in the morning. Uh, my son's coming in the afternoon. I don't know if I've got my grandsons this week. I'm going to ring my granddaughters tomorrow, see if I can speak to them. Yeah. Uh, and then the car boot on the Sunday. You're going to have fun. What is it? How far away is the car boot? Oh, they're not long. About 15, 20 minutes, that's all. We've got several around us. Oh, you do Okay. Yeah. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I'm packing more parcels. I've got some more um, racks and swaps to do. I know I've done all the others, but I'm saying I've got the next lot to do. I work from a list. My list gets longer, it doesn't seem to get shorter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, I don't seem to get my list ever shorter. Well, I've just got seven complete and I've got another five to do next. So I'll only do five next time. And I've got orders to yeah. do as well. People have ordered kits and that, and that's fine. I don't mind doing them. It's uh, <clears throat> They can be time consuming because everything has to be cut and organised and counted. and So, yeah. And I don't like to do all of them the same. And then we've got to find boxes for it all to fit in, or big 
pound, you know, big envelopes. Yeah. So, um, now, I sent, do you know, I, I meant to tell you yesterday, I sent a parcel off to somebody, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, oh, God, she'll, oh, sorry, I think it could be Linda, I'm not sure. And, um, when she got the parcel, all that was in it was one flower, handmade flower, and an empty plastic bag. They'd taken everything out the bag, out the envelope. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And I just think it's oh. disgraceful. Because the poor woman thought that I had sent her the wrong order, and I hadn't. Why would I send anybody an empty bag and one handmade flower? That's absolutely outrageous. It's disgraceful that they can even take them apart, uh, you know, get into the envelopes and take what they want. Um, it's it's just not on. So, you know, and obviously, well, what can you... I can't say any more than that. I, I'm just disgraced, um, disgusted with the postal service. So, But don't let that put you off uh, getting a kit because if you read the feedback on Etsy... Many, or on here, many, many, many of you do get your kits, and I send tons out, tons out. So, um, yeah, you know, we allow for some mistakes and things like that, but there's no way I'd send somebody an empty bag. Right, I just wanted to show you this before I finish, which is, I've changed it, I've put a nice handmade flower around that, um, under, under the handmade crocheted flower. Uh, and so now I can pop some little bits and pieces in there. And send that off to someone. So I hope you like that. And that is the new shabby picture flower. Thanks for watching. Say to that, Jim. Goodbye, everybody. And we'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.